Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. So as promised, I have my summer Shein clothing haul for you guys today. There, we have a lot to show you, a lot to go through, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've been placing Shein orders for the past several months and I've sort of collected everything here. Everything has been for summer. I have several bathing suits, some dresses. I have some hits and some misses. I'm going to show you guys things that I wish would have worked, but just didn't work. And I also have a bathing suit from Cupshe to show you and, um, a dress that I actually found at Walmart that I've really been enjoying. So I'm going to show all of that to you. We're going to go ahead and start with the dress that I am wearing. Everything that I got at Shein dress wise and most of the bathing suits I got in a size extra large, which on Shein's websites says translates into a size 12. So this dress is sort of like a t-shirt dress. It has these buttons here on the front that go up. There's, I don't know, six of them. And then there's a tie in the front as well. It also has these really awesome pockets that you can use to throw your keys or your phone or whatever in. This dress is so comfortable and I am so glad that I purchased this one. I do think that once we come back from vacation, I'm actually going to order a couple more colors of it because I really liked it that much. They had like an army green color that I really enjoy. Um, I feel like that color typically looks good on me. So I will probably buy that color for sure when we get back from vacation. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm just going to sort of grab things was a miss, <laughs> a big miss. So I grabbed this black one piece bathing suit and this is probably the only thing it is the only thing that I'm not going to try on because it, it would be like pornography. <laughs> um, so it's supposed to have this like ruched thing in the front. It has one so like solid strap and then one that has two. And I really liked this and I liked the look of it. I bought it in an extra large, the same, size that I bought everything else in and this little tiny breast area just does not work for me. It covered like half my boob. Like I had spillage on the side and in the middle, like it was not acceptable and it was not cute. Like it wasn't a cute amount of spillage. It was bad. So unfortunately this one is going back. I think I only paid like $8 for it. So I mean, I'm tempted to just give it to my sister who, I mean, she has about the same size breast as me, but hers has been altered, if you know what I mean. So I think it might actually look cute on her, um, where mine will not. I just noticed that it's pouring. The bottom just let out. So anyway, this one's going back for sure. The next thing I'm going to grab is another black bathing suit. So I am gonna try this one on for you guys. So this one, it's all twisted. Okay, so this one is a solid black bathing suit and then it has the like cut out mesh part right under your bra line so that it shows just a little bit of skin and it doesn't have any on the sides or anything like that. It's just right under the breast line. I also bought this one in an extra large and this is probably my favorite Shein bathing suit that I have gotten so far. Um, it, I feel like is really flattering, but also like comfortable enough to be able to wear to the beach with my kids and like run around and sit and sand and play and not have everything hanging out. So um, my favorite part about that is the mesh for sure because it adds just a little something extra. Um, so I am definitely very excited about that one. We'll just stick with bathing suits for now and then we'll go back to dresses. So this is one that I actually purchased from um, Cupshe off um, their website. So the bottom is this like high-waisted ruche black and white striped bottom. And then the top is this really fun flared, if I can get it, flared top 
like this. They have this in several different colors. This is by far my favorite bathing suit right now. I feel like it's so flattering. It would be flattering on everyone. Now, Cupshe is a little bit more expensive. This bathing suit was $29.99, and I have another one from them that I'm going to show you that was actually like $35. So they definitely are a little bit more expensive, but they're super fun and flattering on every body type. I feel like the quality is definitely a little bit higher in the Cupshe bathing suits versus the Shein bathing suits, but Shein bathing suits are like 10 bucks. So like, I think, I know I paid $6 for this one I'm sending back and this other one was like 12. So, I mean, you get what you pay for, right? So this is definitely my favorite one right now. Um, as you can see, it does come up pretty high-waisted, um, which I like because I have a mommy tummy. Another cup sheet one that I got, I haven't actually worn this one yet. This one I got like a couple of weeks ago and I wore it to my mom's pool recently. So this one I haven't worn, but I did try it on and I really enjoy it. So it's another high-waisted one from Cup She. This one does not have the ruching on the front, but um, so it's a little bit less forgiving, I would say. I had to order this one in an extra large on Cup She, and this one is a large, and I think it's just because of the the ruching on the front that makes it a little bit more flattering. So this, these are the bottoms. And as you can see, oh, that is not right. As you can see, they are very high-waisted as well. Um, but I think a little less flattering than the other ones. And then the top is this super gorgeous mint green or army green-ish top that, um, that has the little bit of flare detail at the bottom there with the fabric. This one is super supportive. You wouldn't think that it would be, but it is. It does have cups in, um, or padding inside the bra. I will probably remove them just because I don't need them. And I don't think that like, you're gonna have any issues with um, like nipples showing through on this, on this top where you might with like a thinner material. Same thing with that other one from Cup She. I removed the cups because you know, I'm not going to have that issue. So really like this one as well. I feel like both of these, um, same thing with the black one are very flattering, but also comfortable enough to wear like on the beach with your family. And that's really what I was going for this year is comfort on the beach with my family. So I have one more suit to show you that Max is on top of. Max, get up, up, up. Good boy. So this one is this really gorgeous floral suit from Cupshe. Again, it has like the ruffling here at the top and the breast line. And then it's this like black and white and gray. There's some yellow in the flowers. This one is so gorgeous. But I had to order this one from the plus size department. All of the reviews, which I think is very important to note on Shein, read your reviews. All of the reviews were saying that this ran small. So like an extra large was more like a medium, um, like medium large from what I could gather in the reviews. So I didn't even chance it with this one. I thought it was so gorgeous and I wanted it to fit. So I went straight to the plus size section and they had it on there as well. And I bought a zero X, which is like the lowest plus size size. Um, because I wanted it to fit. Most of the reviews were saying that it wasn't like long enough. So it would like cut you off in your hip area, um, like cut into your skin and that the breast size was a little bit small as well. So I'm very happy that I ordered it from the plus size section. It was a little bit more expensive, but as you can see, it fits me well. Um, and it's super gorgeous. This was $16 on the plus size section. And if you were to get a normal, size like one of the regular sizings it was 12 so it was about four dollars more expensive but one thing that i really like about this one is the way that you can tie it so it has these two sides like one coming from the back one coming from the front and you just tie it in a bow however you want it which i will show you when i try it on or i'm sure you've seen maybe already depending on how i overlay it but yeah i'm super happy with this one so that gives me one two three four bathing suits. One, two, yeah, four bathing suits to take to the beach. We're going to be there a week. And I think that is 
plenty. Um, honestly, that's probably too many. I usually take like two, but I wanted to have more options this year. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to dresses. We are going to start, well, this one that I've already shown you, but we're gonna start with this one. I wanted this dress to work so bad. I think it is gorgeous, but I'll explain why it didn't work. So it's this really cute, like flared dress. I'm gonna try it on for you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and warn you that it does not fit my chest well, and that's the whole issue with it. I'm gonna wear a sports bra under it so that you can't like see everything, but you'll see what I mean. Um, I feel like I need to try it on to be able to explain what's wrong with it. So this is a size extra large, which is what I have been buying on Shein, what has fit on Shein. But this one has a no stretch to it, like zero stretch at all, and a very, very small area for your chest. So this is it. This tiny little section right there is the only spot they give you for your chest. And I'm bigger chested than that. I tried even like pinning it, seeing if I could just like pin them together and it just did not work. But as you can see with me showing it to you guys, it fits everywhere else. It's even loose in the stomach. It just like, I don't know if this particular dress was cut wrong or or if this is how it was meant to be. No other dress that I've purchased from Shein has been like this, where it was such a drastic difference in the chest area and everything else. And like I said, I wanted this dress to work so bad. My mom said that she could probably even find um, the same color like blue material and sew a patch like in the middle so that it would just look natural. Um, and I might let her do that versus sending this back or at least try it because I love this dress so much. So this was a fail, I guess, but I'm kind of upset about it. Like I wanted it to be a win so bad and it's been hanging in my closet for the past like month and a half and I've been too sad to send it back. So anyway, another, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the other fail as well. And the only reason that this one is a fail is because I can't figure out how to do it. So this is an army green dress. This actually reminds me a lot of the one that, um, one of my friends, one of my YouTube friends showed on a fashion haul recently. Um, this is an army green and it's that like silky, um, material. It has a little bit of skin showing on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one on and show you what I mean. I can't figure out what to do with the belt. Are you supposed to tie it on the side? Um, I feel like there's like too much extra fabric in the back. Um, I even tried turning it around because I thought maybe I was wearing it backwards, but that didn't work. So I don't know. Tell me about what you guys think. Does it look terrible on me? Should I keep it? Should I just like forego the belt and leave it how it is? Let me know what you think because I do like the color of that dress. I just can't figure out why it's not working on my particular body type. Like it looks big enough, except through the hips, I could say, um, if it had more stretch, it might work better. But anyway, let me know what you think about that one. Okay, so I have two more dresses to show you guys. So this one is this super fun, like puffed sleeve floral dress. This one is very long um, and very comfortable. So you can definitely wear this one on a day like when you're just not feeling that you want to be restricted in any way. I wore this to my sister's bridal shower and it was gorgeous. I got so many compliments on it. You can see that it's pretty long. Um, it comes, I would say halfway between my knees and my ankles, which I like. So you don't have to worry about bending over and people seeing anything or whatever. Um, and like I said, this one's super comfortable. So I got this one in an extra large as well. Um, I probably could have even sized down in this one because there is a lot of extra fabric in the belly area. Um, so it's just hit or miss at she and like you don't and that's one thing that I wish they did better was have a constant about their sizing um, but like sometimes you buy things and it's too small and you can't even fit half your boob in it and then sometimes you buy things and it's huge so you get what you pay for like I said okay so this is the final dress and this one's actually from Walmart so I saw somebody else model this dress recently. I want to say that it was Sarah. 
can't remember her channel name. I'll link it below if I can think of it, but she bought a plus size one and, um, I went and looked to see if I could find like a normal size. So this is a size, it's a time and true brand. It's a size large, which says size 12 to 14. And it's this gorgeous wrap dress. So this is actually a faux wrap. It's actually connected, it's sewn together. It does not really wrap, but you can tie it to make it look like it's, it's a wrap. This one is so flattering. It's not exactly beach colors, I would say, but I'm gonna take it to the beach because after a long day on the beach, I just enjoy having something comfortable. So I'm a huge dress wearer, wearer at the beach. Um, so as you can see, this one is pretty long as well. Um, it's definitely one that I could see myself wearing out to dinner at the beach or um, even like in the evenings to take a walk on the beach, something like that. So this one will definitely be going with me as well. This was a little bit more pricey. This one was about $20 at Walmart, um, which is funny that I'm saying that the, the one that I paid the most money for is from Walmart, but that's what it worked out to. So um, I definitely am enjoying it and will enjoy wearing it this summer. So my favorite thing that I bought out of everything is honestly like, even though this dress won't work, this is probably, well, probably the dress that I'm wearing and then this one. I'm gonna find a way to make this work. Like all you people that know about this, comment down below and tell me what I can do. They don't sell this in the plus size section and I feel like if I went and bought it from the plus size section, it would be way too big everywhere else. So help a girl out with that. But I hope that you enjoyed this Shein summer clothing haul. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for all of your support that you've been giving me lately and always. Um, I hope that you guys have a fantastic week next week. I will hopefully be uploading at least two videos and yeah, I can't wait to show you guys our beach house and some of the fun things that we're doing on vacation. But anyways, until then guys, have a fantastic evening and yeah, bye.